Welcome back my turtles to another art video with Foxfoot Crafts. Today's video is a special feature. Um, I had a request for a very special customer at the zone who is really big into the banana splits. For those of you who aren't familiar with the banana splits, it was an old TV show that I remember watching as a kid. Um, Honestly, it, it was kind of like a variety hour. Um, it had these characters that were in these big fursuits that were in a band and they would have like little mini clips and shows going on. Um, I feel like they had a little plot in between them and they had a little cart that they would ride in. And, um, yeah, so I, I remember watching this show as a kid and Ironically, I remember when Five Nights at Freddy's came out, I was like, this very much has a Banana Splits vibe to it. Um, you know, the fursuits, the musical instruments, and being four of them, and um, halfway through this project, going through and working on this, I did discover that in 2019 there was a Banana Splits movie that came out that was a horror movie, so as if this didn't already have a Five Nights at Freddy's vibe to it. To find out that it has a horror movie made after it as well, definitely. And like they very much felt Five Nights at Freddy's. Like there's four of them, they are animatronics that get decommissioned and don't want to be decommissioned. And there's even like a girl who goes kind of crazy and wears a suit of one, which made me think of like the newest Five Nights at Freddy's with Vanny and it just, yeah. So very Five Nights at Freddy's vibe. But this uh, customer has just been really grooving on the banana splits and has had a lot of trouble finding any banana splits anything just merchandise artwork um anything at all really i i even tried looking up some myself and i was shocked at the price of some of this stuff like personally i'm not a pop figure fan um I, there's a few pop figures that i like that i think are cute but for the most part i don't like pop figures i don't like the proportions of them or anything but i was like yeah pop figures are cheap you know, kind of plain and basic. Surely there are, there's pop figures for everything. Surely there's pop figures for banana splits. And I, there are, I was correct in that assumption, but they are expensive. They're very expensive. <laughs> so, um, with that being said, with it being so hard to find, um, the zone commissioned me to do an art piece for this customer and have it feature the banana splits. Um, they requested that it be an 11 by 14 inch piece, so a very large piece, um, and have it look like a little retro TV and then just have their simple kind of faces on it. So, um, because it was so big, I wanted to make sure that I sketched it out digitally um, kept them all kind of the same size, the same shape and style, while staying true to the characters. Which ultimately, I feel like I did. Um, I feel like this piece worked really well, and hopefully the recipient will really enjoy it. And maybe they will get to tune in and watch the video of their piece being created. I'm unsure, but I am going to definitely wait to post this video. So the, I'm going to wait until I am notified by the zone that the customer has received their art piece. Cause just on the off chance, I don't want any surprises ruined or anything. With the digital program, I was able to adjust, um, rotate, make sure everybody fits, everybody's about the same size, um, figure out the placements. And so definitely appreciate being able to alter this digitally before going at it and using up paper and ink and everything to 
you know, adjust on the sizes. Once I get everything figured out, I went through and made sure to center the piece, counted up grid lines, and just to make sure I had everything lined up. I then went through and cut my paper on the 11 by 14 inch. I used one of my cutting rulers to go through and kind of map out where the little old style TV is going to be. Now I, I definitely remember watching TV on one of the old TVs you had to click over on the stupid little dials and it was really hard and sometimes you're like, I'm going to break this little knob off and it, it just, yeah. So I, I grew up, I, I think I think one of my TVs might have actually been this size of this paper. Um, it, it seems very familiar. So I have my print off that I just go through and use my liner pen to trace out the line art. After I got done lining out the characters, I just added in some details to help the piece feel more like a retro TV. And from there, just started coloring everything in. The banana splits definitely have that retro color motif, you know, lots of burnt orange, um, yellows, that kind of olive green. Um, we had a couch that was the, a lot of these colors and I, I can still like feel the texture of that couch and it definitely. Um, I want to say like hotels also um, so we we grew up in a lot of hotels and a lot of hotels had that kind of vinyl fakey couch or like burnt orange sienna seat coverings to them as well so this this piece definitely I was like yeah this this has some nostalgia for me so <laughs> This piece used so much ink too, I will say. I think I had four markers die on this piece. Um, it just, because of the size of it, it just sucked the ink right out of my markers, um, which is unfortunate, but um, it, it is going to a really good cause. So, um, sacrifices were made. <laughs> I 
I think Bongo is probably my least favorite. I, I have never been a fan of apes or monkeys or anything like that, and so they, they always just really creep me out. Um, I don't care for them. You know, when I play Animal Crossing, I'm always very disappointed in all of the ape and monkey villagers. Um, it, it just, I, I don't care for them as an animal. And so for there to be a large monkey fursuit, it, no, I, I don't care for that one. Um, the elephant I did think was really cute. Um, cute design for the suit so that that I was able to vibe on and I mean I, I like pink and gray or pink and white and so that kind of feeds into that motif as well. I am telling y'all, this piece is huge. Like, it, each character is easily the size of the palm of my hand. So it, it definitely took a while to get this piece complete. Um, I, I really tried to sit down and try to finish it all up in a couple weeks, so took a lot of commitment to get it done. After I got the characters colored in, I went ahead and erased any of the pencil lining from the TV set and then decided to color that. I went with the, again, retro kind of olive green color because I feel like most appliances had that kind of olive or camo or brush green and unfortunately this marker was definitely dying during the process so I had to go over it a few times and then dug through figured out what markers were dying couldn't find any really <laughs> that I was going to be able to blend in with it so I just would have to let the marker rest and then color some more and then let the marker rest and ultimately the marker served well though. And then kind of a cream yellow to it because nothing was ever white. It was always kind of that creamy, yellowy, where it already looked like it was faded or weather worn. And I'm not sure why. Maybe it was to help with dirt. And for the simple color on the background, I just went with a yellow. I did think about doing a couple different colors 
So at first I was thinking tie-dye, but I'm not personally a fan of tie-dye, and after trying to figure out how to get it to work, I, I scratched that idea. So because this was such a large piece as well, I, I made sure to focus on the characters first, pulling the ink away from the characters, and then after I got that done, I went back in and filled in the missing spots as well. And there we have it, the final piece for the banana splits. Hopefully the customer will be super excited about it. This piece is huge, y'all, but going to a good home. So thank you everyone for tuning in, and I will see you next time.